Hey there, Project Sekai fans. Welcome to the Mirai Vision for the month of April. A weekly, actually, no, monthly series that I go over the events that are going to happen, well, before they happen, to keep you guys updated and possibly show you what you have to look for for the upcoming month and what teams you may possibly want to build for those coming events and how to prepare for them. My name is District Attorney Sonic Fan, and welcome to the, I was about to say stream, video. Now, for the month of April, we don't really have too many events, literally only three, unless you count, like, the birthday lives, but usually we have about four. So, not much the goal. So the first one is the doll festival at the Tenmas. Originally this was called the Tenma household Hinamatsuri. There is actually a little interesting to see some of like the differences between the JP and the English names especially since some of the JP names are in English. Anyways this is going to be a pure event that's going to start on April 4th and the boost members will be Tenma Saki, Tsukasa, and Yo Yagi Toya, Megurine Luka, and Mochizuki Honami. <laughs> Now, if you grind the event, you can get the, even though I know I shouldn't, Mochizuki Honami and the uh, Happy Hinamatsuri Megurine Luka. Just like with most events, both the shop characters will not actually be the correct attribute. As Honami is a mysterious type and, and Luka is a cute type. Yo, I'm definitely just not rolling this banner because I'm already getting a free Luka from this. <laughs> definitely, like there are characters I want here, but I got a free Luka out of this, I'm, I'm fine. Now, if you also roll the banner for this, the Heaven happy doll festival gotcha you have a chance of getting the four stars the best hinamatsuri tenmasaki a big brother's agony tenmatsukasa and finally a bond between siblings aoyagi toya all of these characters will be pure type as they can fit for the event and will give you about like a 50 percent boost if you use them for the event. If you want to use a team for the best possible points that you can get, you'll be using all of the event characters. And if you had been playing the game since day one, you most likely have the rest well Mochizuki Honami from the first event from Stella After the Rain. I'm actually one of the rare few that, even though I played, I actually missed out on it. The other options are the two-star Tenma Tsukasa from the New Year's event, if you played that. He's finally coming in handy. And the two-star Leonid two-star Leonid Tenmosaki. So you guys should at least be able to meet two of the requirements for this event. Otherwise, you're going to need to fill the team with other pure attribute characters. Although you might find some characters that are... So yeah, it's specifically a Wonderland's X Showtime Luka. Now, if you're looking even further into the gacha, if you want specific characters to go for, Big Brother's Agony Tsukasa and the Hinamatsuri Tenmosaki, those two are the ones that get outfits if you're looking for, like, even more. While Ao Yagi over here is missing out pretty much. This event will also have an afterlife, so make sure you check that out and don't miss out on your crystals. Now the next event is Let's Deliver Hopeful Stage, or Hear Me Hopeful Stage. It's interesting that they changed it from Let's Deliver to Hear Me, which is like Kite, I think. Nah, don't ask me, I don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to Japanese, I never learned it. This event is going to be a happy attribute event with pretty much the entirety of More More Jump as members along with Luca. And I'm assuming she's also going to have to be the more more jump version of Luca as well. So look out for that. Now there's going to be an event song for this, Tenshi no Clover. And if you grind the event, you'll be able to get the what I can do for my junior Momo Airi and knowledge as an idol Megurine Luca. Now what's good for this event is that the Airi is actually a perfect fit for this event being an event character slash event attribute. Although Luca is going to be a mysterious attribute, she's not going to be a perfect fit, but you're probably going to find some use for her in later events. Now, if you roll the gacha and angel spreading her wings from here gacha, you'll get a chance at the for your sake Hanasato Mi. Ooh, this one's actually really pretty. Inori. To the hardworking you, Kiritani Haruka, which this is another one of my favorites. Yo, things with like the sky against reflected water. Why is Haruka getting these really pretty cards? And finally the... Dude, what are you doing? Oh, did I really have to do that? <laughs> Hinomori Shizuku. This one's also very pretty, but the Haruko one's pretty much my favorite. These are all also, I shouldn't have to say it, happy attribute cards. For team building, you can use Irie, everyone that's on the banner, so that's already four, but you guys will also be able to fill in the two-star bubbly blue Hiritani Haruka if you don't roll her, her four-star from the banner. And this one is from the Let's Restart event that we went through already. And the grand occasion, Shizuku, if you picked her as your three-star or happened to roll roll her in the gacha at some point. If you have none of those, you can also use the original one star Haruka as well, the former national idol. That'll be like pretty much your whole team outside of just like filling filling the last slot with a more more jump version of Luka or just Luka in general or any happy attribute characters. Now if you're looking a little bit more into the gacha, the important characters are actually the Minori and the Haruka as they're the only two that have outfits in this event. I think Haruka's like literally the clear winner here honestly. Best looking card and with her friends. 
plus the outfit. Finally, there will also be an afterlife for this event, so look forward to that. Make sure you get your crystals and your title oh, and your sticker. Finally, on April 23rd, the Singing With You in a World Where Cherry Blossoms Dance is one of the ones where one of my favorite Miku was, but it is actually translated to the Singing Among the Cherry Blossoms, which is less of a mouthful. This is going to be a pure attribute event and actually one of the first cheerful lives that we get. You're not allowed to pick your songs during multi lives, and it's changed to cheerful lives. During cheerful lives, it turns into a five on five event. You and four others against five other people. And whoever gets the most points is the winner of the event, which attributes to an overall score with three deciding periods. And the winner of the deciding periods gets extra crystals for each session. You pick one side, you have a chance to switch to the other side once. And I believe it's only during the first session. So make sure you pick your choice and make sure it's wise. You do get a one do over, but this one's actually pretty hard for me because uh, I like Dango mostly because of uh, <laughs> because of a certain anime, a certain Dango, slice of life anime. Dango, 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 Daikazoku. Yanchana, Yaki Dango, Yasashi. Hmm. <laughs> I got a little dirt in my eye. <laughs> now the boost members for this event will be Hoshino Ichika, Hatsune Miku, Leonid version. Do, do I have to put emphasis on the band? Azuzawa Kohane, Hanasato Minori, and finally, Yoisaki Kanade. I gotta make sure not to call her Yoshi again. Now if you grind the event, you can get the two star this spring with you, Yoisaki Kanade, and the Expanding Circle of Friendship, Hanasato Minori. Both of these are actually cool types, but they'll probably come in handy and, you know, later events. Now, if you decide to roll the Gacha, the Cherry Blossom Path where you and I meet Gacha, you have a chance to get the Hopeful for Clear Skies, Hoshino Ichika, Glowing Timber, Hatsune Miku. Also, let me, let me make, let me make this clear. This is one of my favorite Mikus as well because of the, this, this first picture alone. I really like when they're like in the same space as them, as the little miniature holograms it's adorable also the final picture is absolutely stunning right this, this set piece is stunning man chasing after everyone's back azuzawa kohane all these will be pure attributes you're looking to get the most out of this gacha you're gonna want to aim for the for the glowing timber hatsune miku and the hoping for clear skies ichika because they're the ones that have the outfits now for team building, obviously again, you can go with all of the gacha characters, but if you have the Kohane from the period of Nocturne event, who is a pure type, or the original one star Kohane, you can use her as a replacement. If you were uh, here at the beginning of the game and you got the two star Hoshino Ichika, you could also use her as a replacement for Ichika. If you did the Color of Myself event and got the two star Minori from there, you can also use her or the original one star Minori. In total, this is pretty much a very generous event. For the most part, you can use at least two characters that are given to you for free. And if you have been playing for longer, you can use even more. And then you'll just have to make up the difference with, with either the Gacha Miku or a Leonid Miku and any pure attribute characters. And I guess Kanade as well, since she's one of the event characters. This event will also have an afterlife. So make sure you go get your stickers slash crystals for that. And then the last two things will be pretty much the fact that Minori's birthday is on April 14th and Anna's birthday is on April 30th. So yeah, that's pretty much it for now. If you like this video, leave a like and a comment. And if you want more of me, come check out my streams. I usually stream every day at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, unless, well, I announce that I'm taking a break otherwise. So, or if I have to push back the stream for whatever reason, or postpone it, you know? But yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys have a good morning, good afternoon, and a good night. See you later. Peace out.